Hi and welcome to this week's web design video blog. My colleague Sam, who usually films us for the videos, is away uh, on holiday this week, so today's video blog is just going to purely be a screencast. And as you can see, today we're going to look at the uh, border radius property in CSS3. So before we look at these examples and uh, talk about the code, it's uh, it's quite important to understand what the uh, what this new property of CSS3 is. It's one of the uh, the most highly anticipated and commonly used uh, properties that are, that are part of the CSS3 update. Uh, it's been around for a good few years, and the great thing about the uh, the property is that it removes the need to nest a lot of divs together, and also use images to create uh, to create the corners um, that you that you had to do before this property was uh, was brought in. And the border radius uh, property can be applied to a variety of uh, HTML elements from divs, what you can see in the examples that we're about to look at shortly, uh, right the way through to things like input fields on contact forms. Now on the contact form on Creare, we've only used a very subtle two pixel radius on our fields, but it does add a, a subtle touch nevertheless. And one of the uh, most well-known uses of rounded corners uh, using the border radius property is in the uh, WordPress dashboard. So I'm logged into the Creare WordPress dashboard, and you can see that a lot of the uh, the elements um, on this page. And if I just uh, perhaps zoom in slightly, you can really see the rounded corners that they use in the design. Now, with uh, rounded corners, we're only really going to look at the main uh, border radius properties. You can do uh, quite a lot of effects, like create, uh, like to create elliptical uh, border radiuses, which is something that uh, you don't really see too often on the internet, so we, uh, we'll just stick with the with the basics. It's uh, very well supported, um, more so than when we did the last video over a year and a half ago. It's compatible with the new version of Internet Explorer 9, Opera, Chrome, Safari and Firefox. But it's important to bear in mind that you still really want to be using two different types, uh, the, the two different properties when defining your border radiuses. The simple border hyphen radius that you can see here in the example is the W3C and uh, recommended and widely used format for achieving the border radius effect. However, there's still a bit of a discrepancy between W3C, who essentially govern the standards for the web, and Mozilla, who create the popular browser Firefox, like what we're using to view this web page in here. So Mozilla still require you to use uh, their Mozilla prefix in order to activate border radius in Firefox. Over time, I'm sure that this will be collapsed and um, all browsers will just purely support border hyphen radius. But for the time being, it's important to use both. So whenever you create an element that you wish to have rounded corners on, you want to apply both the standard border radius property and also the prefixed uh, Mozilla border radius property. So in our three examples, we're uh, looking at uh, three different ways of styling either all four corners equally, like at the top, uh, opposite corners or all four corners. So if we look at the top version, we're simply um, applying a border radius of 20 pixels and that will apply that property to all four corners of the element that you're applying this property to. In the second one, if we apply two properties, so 50 pixels and 20 pixels, it does the opposite corners. So the first, uh, the first amount that we've entered here is for the top left corner and the bottom right. As you can see, they're both 50 pixels and the top right and the bottom left are both 20 pixels. And then finally, in the third example, in figure three, we've individually defined the size of each, uh, of, each of the corners. So from left going clockwise round, you can see that the, uh, the, corner, uh, the border radius in this corner here is 80 pixels. It's 40 pixels over here, 20, and then finally 10. So it goes around in a sort of clockwise motion. And these are really the main core properties that you need to define the basics um, of, the B, of the border radius property to achieve your rounded corners. And like with a lot of CSS3 properties, a lot of people ask the question, is it actually worth using them? Because a lot of web users are still using uh, Internet Explorer 6, 7 and 8, um, you're only really going to be uh, having an audience of about 50% at the moment that can actually uh, see uh, CSS3 properties like border radius and we've also done a previous video blog on the new text shadow property as well. So I would say that it is uh, definitely worth starting to use them. Obviously we've used them on the input fields on the contact form of the Creare website. Uh, but what personally I would recommend doing is to say to yourself, 
if the viewer of the website is uh, viewing the web viewing your page on IE6 through to IE8 if the um, border radius fails to load will the fallback of the page be adequate so the easiest way to explain this is if we go back to our WordPress example of the page um, I've actually got a copy of Windows XP running here and we're looking at IE6 and if we look at the um, IE6 uh, version of our WordPress dashboard compared to Firefox you can obviously see that there's a huge design difference but mainly the uh, you, you can see that the, the border radius property has failed to load so it's just fallen back to having square edges now uh, obviously in IE6 this does look pretty poor the, uh, the dashboard but it doesn't really affect the usability of the page the rounded corner is just a sort of subtle touch that's added as a design element so the same thing could be said on the create contact page if the corners the very very subtle corners of our contact form and if I zoom in again you can really see just how small those rounded corners are if they fail to load on Internet Explorer it really doesn't affect the user experience of the web page it merely improves it for those users who are browsing on a compatible browser like I said which is IE9 Opera Chrome Safari and Firefox just to name the main ones so that's the CSS3 border radius property it's very easy to use within your pages and even though I've got this example um, that we're using in the video I'll make sure that all the uh, appropriate coding is available to copy and paste from our supporting blog post. So if you're watching this video on our web page, just scroll down and you can copy and paste the, the code and the examples. Or if you're watching this video on YouTube, simply jump onto our blog post at createdesign.co.uk forward slash blog forward slash videos and just navigate your way through to uh, CSS3 border radius.